Welcome to the Tone Zone. What's up, everybody? We're here at the Tone Zone. Here with D. Cold, the man, the myth, the legend. How you doing? Good. Chilling, just in the studio right now. You doing pre-pros for the audience? Yeah. yeah. Got it. That's crazy. Those guys are just laying down the drum tracks. And it's taking actually ages to do the drum tracks. But, um, yeah, just doing pre-pros with the album. Damn, that's crazy. You guys doing a whole album? Yeah, full, full length. Ooh, that should be nice. Uh, pr- probably a little bit too much. I mean, it's expected to do a full length, but, you know. I don't want to. Yeah. Give, I don't want to give too much away. We don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. You know, I don't want to step on any toes. That's cool. <laughs> but um, how you doing? I'm good, man. This is sick. I'm so glad this worked out. We have two yeah. very different time schedules. Yeah. What time is it now? It's like three. It's three forty in the afternoon right here. It's ten forty-two. Yeah, that's. that's I'm ready. Right, I'm ready for bed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking ready to go to sleep, but we're here. We're doing this. Yeah. But um, basically, what we do in the Tone Zone, we just talk about fucking guitar shit. Yeah. The, f- the first question I got off the bat, mm. what was what was your first guitar you've ever had? Like the first one you, like... The ever, first one I owned? Owned, yeah. Or got oh, shit, it was at home. Or, or actually, because I actually have it at home. You have it at home? I still have it. It's like, uh, it was an Epiphone, um... SG G3 G310. Whoa. Who's yeah. S- SG? Yeah, the SG, the black one. Damn, that's crazy. I feel like I, I had the. <laughs> I should have it at home, but fucking. Yeah. You don't have to bring stuff. It's fine, yeah. but. Um... Show and tell. Yeah, show and tell. We'll do a little show and tell, but um, that's sick. Um, anyways, what, so is it black or black SG? Yeah, it was a black SG. Like did, it have the, in... did it have the had neck it dive? Nah. nah. You, you were like strong enough to hold it like yeah. <laughs> while you're playing? Yeah. I can't I, I was, can't do SGs. Uh, yeah. How old was I? I was fifteen. Damn. I think fourteen. That was like my first actual guitar guitar. Actual I, like, real guitar. Yeah. That's sick. But part of that was like a was a was it just an acoustic guitar I used to have. Everybody always started with acoustic. Yamaha acoustic was my yeah. I had some weird ones, some weird, like, I don't know if you guys got the brand Monterey. Uh, it does sound familiar. Yeah, there's like, there's like, it's just gonna shoot, like a shoot brand <laughs> called Monterey, and I had that, and that, yeah, and then upgraded to, uh, to an electric guitar. Damn, that's crazy. Was yeah. it just guitar, or was it like guitar and like a little combo amp? Uh, I actually didn't have an amp. Whoa. Yeah, um, I just used my dad's, uh, because my dad playing in the band and stuff. Okay, that's cool. I just used my dad's guitars. He's, 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 um, he's amp. It was like a fucking, what was it? You know those old Behringers? Okay. Yeah, it was like a combo, I know a combo, sorry, it was like a, it was like an amp head. Yeah. Plus in, uh, a cabinet. It had like all these effects on it. What the hell? That's gonna bug, that kinda, that's gonna bug me. Cause I know what you're talking about, but they don't make them anymore. So it's hard to say like, oh, I know that one. But you don't see him anymore. Yeah. Oh no, I can't find him. <laughs> He's trying to find it right now. Yeah. Well, we'll put it in. I'll edit it in, and if you find it, and I'll put a picture of it. Sure. That's crazy. Um. But Here it is. I found it already. Oh it was God. a GMX twelve hundred. GMX twelve hundred. What are these? Yeah. See, that's what I was thinking about, and I was like, Yeah. There's no that way. One- I that probably that probably cost a hundred dollars for all of it. Yeah. <laughs> so I used that for ages. Yeah. And I actually got. And the, he had a um one of those. It was a it was a it was a stage you know stage master is stage master. Why does that sound yeah. familiar? The squire stage master. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Stage master. Headstock one. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. He one of those. I used that for ages. So that's actually the first time I got introduced to. A Floyd Rose. Damn, they had a Floyd Rose on there? Like an yeah, actual yeah, Floyd Rose? Yeah. Oh, nah, probably. Like special? Might have been a special. It's always a special. I fucking yeah. hate specials. Yeah, you, 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 you were the one who told me like, to fucking hate them. 
Well, here's the thing about specials. The 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 metal on there is not as strong as like. Oh, the yeah, and I, can, I, can tell, and I can tell that as well. Yeah, you can when you're like bending it and you're pulling it. You're like, shit, is this gonna break? Because right, it's yeah. die cast like metal, so yeah. you need a little something a little bit stronger, especially if you're like riffing as much as we are. We we got to get at least the uh, what's the Korean ones, the Floyd one thousands, fifteen hundreds, or the just uh, original. Yeah. Uh, what do you have in your one? When I. Oh, I just have the Korean 1000 in the Jackson that I have. I believe oh, that's it. Is that, a, is that a dinky? It's a soloist. Oh, it's a soloist, right? It's a soloist. I had a uh, mic from uh, Disgrace paint it. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> he's never done it before. And he's like, yo, I have black lacquer. Do you want to paint over this? I'm like, fuck Sick. it, why not? <laughs> it's not one, one, one pickup, right? Like yeah, one, I, I only what, do what, one pickup. What is it? It's a Seymour Duncan custom. Oh, sick! Because uh, Eric Rutan from uh, Eight Eternal was like, I only use these, and I'm like, I gotta use that. That's sick. That's what I upgraded. I upgraded mine, the one I use now. Oh, ooh, I just sick. use uh, the AMG. I used to use like lace, like you know, lace pickups. Yeah, yeah. I have a lace on, or yeah. do I have a guitar with a lace on there? I don't have a guitar with the lace. I used, I used to have to a dropping it. Yeah. But yeah, I had that as well. That was for uh, Relentless, right? Yeah. yeah. Remember how? Remember how they were like endorsing like every like fucking artist? That was awesome. That dude. Um, shout out to Jer- Jared. Yeah, Jared. Uh, Justin. Justin or Jared Reynolds. One. I think. I think it's Jared Reynolds because I still follow yeah, yeah. him on Facebook. But he left the company because I yeah. guess they were like not endorsing people anymore. And yeah. And it was just like, like, what's the point if you're not gonna endorse people? Because they don't yeah. endorse anybody. That's right. But that, like, what are they doing now, really? Not nothing, really. Nothing. Missed opportunity, but, but yeah, Jared was awesome. He hooked me up. I paid not that much for the pickup, but it was like my favorite pickup of all time, I think. Yeah. But uh, story about the EMG as well, like you know, relating back to the um, the first guitar I had. Yeah. The the Epiphone. I had I bought uh, EMG eighty one off like Facebook or something. Ages. Oh, actually, no, it was off MySpace. Whoa. <laughs> it was off Holy MySpace. Shit, dude. I had that. I had that exact uh, that pickup for like fucking. I had it for ages, bro. Yeah. I had it like. I even like started like when I got, when I started playing hardcore music. I had that shit like. I had the fucking pickup on there for ages. Yeah. And I can and, and, and I'm selling that that one pickup to someone. I can't remember who it was, but. <laughs> I even toured yeah. I actually actually even toured with that that um my first guitar. Damn, really? Yeah, I've never I, done I've never done that. Never been able to do like the first guitars I've had are all gone or broken. Yeah, oh, they exploded. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Something happened to them. I don't have any of them. But um dude, that's so sick. Playing with your first guitar that you ever owned. Yeah, it's sick. That's I, mean, awesome. I still actually but yeah, I'll, I'm gonna try to like set it up and <laughs> Damn. Just, just have it. That'd be awesome. I don't like. I don't have the luxury of having that. I hate. Yeah. Like I hate that I don't have my first guitar. I have my first real guitar. Was, what was yours? My uh, Gibson Gothic Les Paul. Oh yeah, no, that's stra- yeah. It's straight up murdered out, and it yeah. has everything black hardware. That was my first real guitar. My uncle like, he bought it from a friend, and huh. then he gave it to me, like because I was playing shows all the time and he was like hey you need a real guitar here you go and then I sold it like an idiot that's it I sold it for a custom guitar that I don't have so now you don't have it you don't have either I don't have either I have a Les Paul yeah but I don't have that Les Paul and it bums me out yeah, you got a Gibson Les Paul yeah I got a Gibson Les Paul I'll show it yeah it's a look sick yeah it's pretty nice. I need, I need to get them. I just I'll go Les Paul Greco. Greco, Grecos are nice. Those are just Japanese yeah. customs, basically. Yeah, I see. Those are those rock. I was gonna get a uh, Greco because they're this one was like nine hundred bucks. Mm. But I was like, should I get like the real thing or should I get like Japanese custom? Yeah, because it's basically the same thing. But I was just like, I'm really into. Uh, Allison Chains and Jerry yeah. Jerry Cantrell used one of these models for uh, 
one of the music videos and I was like let's just get that and then yeah, this one. I've been really happy with this is, this is just a riff guitar just the guitar I have like four riffs I don't use this live I might use it live but I'm so scared to like take it on the road yeah that's like yeah I just want to have a beater always yeah. have a beater always have a beater like my Jackson that I got the black one that I use yeah that's it I just upgraded all the parts of it yeah that's the way to do it if you're like touring a lot and you're like flying because you guys fly so much yeah you exactly have, man. you have to have a beater because you know you have to be willing to like be okay if the guitar doesn't show up you know exactly <laughs> You have to be like, well, I guess I gotta figure it out. But yeah, <laughs> that must be a pain in the ass. But like, uh, speaking of flying and stuff, mm. what do you pack when you're flying? As in like, like, like guitar. Like, yeah, like, do, do you take pedal board? All right, so your checklist: yeah. guitar, pedal, guitar, pedal board, pedal board. Or do you like put everything in your case to like save money? I have, I have one of these. It's like it's like kind of like a oh, like a oh, pelican. Kind of like a pelican, yeah. Yeah, and it just has all my stuff in it, like like cables and whatnot. Yeah, it was at my pedal board. Yeah, it fits um, everything in there. Yeah, and I got this fucking. I made like a um, a, a lead. Oh wow! Kind of like it has like the text flex on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. just quick like installation of your amps yeah. or whatever you're using and stuff yeah. so yeah. i literally have that and i have one of these like a spare like uh power supply spare like um what do you call it speaker cable and also have like a spare like cable in case my wireless fucks up oh you use wireless yeah i'm a wireless guy that's so crazy i'm so scared to use wireless yeah it's it's, it's, it's scary sometimes but <laughs> I'm like, like that's I'm all so terrified. Like, yeah, which, we, man, we're in the middle of trying to get like a, uh, you know, the Enki cases. Oh, the Enkis, yeah. I yeah, love those. So it's just save costs and like, you know. Yeah, it's, you, you can yeah. put like both guitars in there. Yeah, you can fit a lot of shit in there. Hey? You can fit a lot of shit in there. Like you can yeah, put cables like, like, inside and stuff. Yeah, there's like a section for cables as well. Damn, that's awesome. Just to save like space and like luggage and that's one less thing you need to worry about yeah i i gotta i mean i don't need two guitars but it is nice to like have that much room yeah and i think it's pretty good to fly with those inky cases especially for y'all because you guys you're flying to america all the time so you kind of need that yeah that's right me i'm just like flying to out of state so i kind of just need a road case and i'm happy yeah but uh I guess the only reason why I asked that because a lot of people ask me like how do I take because I have that this little amp oh, right I got this little amp next to me that you probably can't the, see the SNK and okay, K yeah do you, that, do, you, like, do you play with that yeah I play with that almost every show fuck and it's just it's been my workhorse because it's so easy to travel with and you used to, did you use that in Sound of Fury I used that in Sound of Fury yeah fuck it sounded crazy <laughs> yeah it was uh, that combined with Taylor's like custom Marshall he got from uh, Michael Klein. Yeah. And then, uh, th dude, three guitar players just makes everything sound good. But you have to like, each person has to have their own tone, or else it's like if you have the same thing going on, it's just too yeah, much. Yeah, there's no, there's no point. Yeah. Yeah, there's I mean, no point. Like Martin has the classic hardcore tone. Yeah. You know, Mesa Boogie. TS9, Nine, yeah. LTD. Yeah, that's that's cool. HC. That's old school <laughs> HC, right yeah. there. And then Taylor has the stuff you can't really, like you have to spend a pretty penny on. And me, I have the solid state shit that, you know, this thing costs eight hundred fifty bucks. Like, yeah, two payments. Eight hundred fifty. Eight hundred fifty uh, US. Yeah, US. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get um yeah this company's pretty good the guy's really nice and like I hook I don't hook people up but I tell people like when he's making more batches yeah I, so, I think I reached out to him recently yeah well, I, I only, only want to get one if I know next time that I'll go back to the US 
It's just so but, easy to fucking yeah. like. It's a it's this big. It's a lunchbox like amp, but it you can yeah. do anything with it, and it has so much control that you like. It's not for one particular thing. It's just for heavy music, pretty much. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I travel it's with the amp. I have a small pedal board with like four pedals, and then my guitar, and all of it weighs under like forty pounds. That's it. It's crazy. Yeah. I love that shit. Um, what else can I ask? Nope. How many guitars do you actually own right now? Me? Yes. Um, I have six. Six guitars? I think six. Yeah. Fuck. Including the gun guitar? No, that's not mine. That's the studios. That's the st- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't own that? You don't own a gun guitar? I got, uh, I got the Les Paul, the Greco. Yeah. I just recently got a Strat for my, I use that for my, my, um, the other band I play in the rock band. The rock band. Yeah. That's sick. Classic. Uh, I have a contemporary Strat. The one that it's like a fucking reverse headstock with Floyd Rose. Ooh. But also, I've been trying to sell for like fucking three years. No one wants to buy it. It's, is it the Squire? The Squire. Yes. Ain't nobody buying that. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody buying that. You have to be like a particular person to buy like Squire. Yeah, I mean, like <laughs> <laughs> the Squire Epiphone. I just I don't see the point of like. Yeah. Unless it's like your first guitar, then I get it. But like, if you're a professional man, person, just don't buy sure. that. Just get a Fender, get a Gibson. It's okay. What else do I got? But I got the two Jacksons. The two Jacksons. The one that I acquired from Jackson. Yes. And then that the one that I used last year, San Fury. And, and you, the black one. Yeah. Yeah. And um. And I got a I got I got a LTD as well. Damn LTD. That's the only guitar I just don't. I don't have yet. Yeah. That's classic. LTD. LTD. Yeah. Just an EC1000. EC1000? <laughs> yeah. I've been or thinking MH. about it. I've been thinking or about MH. it. MH something. Damn. No, I can't do it. I have... Fuck, I have too many guitars right now. I probably there have like five or there six. The Gibson. Yeah. I got one Dunnable that I just bought. The, like, Asteroid one. Here, I'll do it. Yo, let's see. I just got this. And then they let me borrow one. And then this fucking thing. So that's three right there. What's that? It's the same. It's like the same model, but like a different... Um, oh, let's see. Let's see. It's crazy. But it, it has Floyd Rose and everything. I have my son's BC Rich. I have the Jackson that Jackson gave me. Damn. Damn, that's five. That's yeah. Holy oh, shit. I used to have a lot more. I used to so only... You're yeah, the Jackson that you play. Yeah. Is that, that, is that the... The one that you had? Is it, what was that brown one? No. That was the brown one. I had it uh, re, re, oh, repainted. So you, so you painted on that one. Oh, right. Yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, but I mean... You do what the fuck you want, bro. <laughs> no one told me I couldn't do that so <laughs> but it looks sick um, it feels really good uh, it had a couple things wrong with it but I think Jackson gives you like blemish kind of things like they if something's a little weird with it they'll just give it to you kind of thing yeah but uh, I mean I just had it set up by my friend and it works great can't complain yeah um, do you have a guy that you all the time like so the guitar player of my uh, death metal band, Greenwich, he works at LTD ESP, and he does all the guitars I own, pretty much. I actually, the silver Dunnable and the green Dunnable, I set these up myself. It was like the first time yeah. I did it. How, how'd it go, about setting up yourself? Pretty good. Yeah, you gotta know what to do. You just gotta have patience. The Floyd Rose, I was like scared, and then I did it, and I'm like, Oh, okay. It's not that hard. You just have to find like 
the bridge has to be leveled with the the nut and it has to like set yeah. but it's, it, um, it's not hard it's easy it OG Floyd Rose on it? Uh, I might do OG Floyd Rose but right now it like works I think it's the Korean 1000 and yeah. it works pretty good like I, I don't I don't know with Jackson, like, even with like, like big companies they're like using like all these like they're selling guitars for like fucking big price yeah but using like, fucking like not shit parts, but like I guess like it's like cheap. it could be a little bit better. Yeah, and a lot of people do say stuff about that when they're buying a, like a new guitar and the price tag is like two grand. They're like, okay, it doesn't yeah. doesn't come with like an original Floyd Rose. It comes with like a soft case. Yeah, I mean I get it, but also you know. Yeah, no, that's kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's like whatever. Yeah, it's fine. I mean. It sucks for like people trying to buy like their first guitar and they're like, "Damn, I gotta spend two grand on like one guitar." Yeah. That's why I, I mean, if you have the means, just buy like used stuff. Honestly. Oh yeah, that, definitely. That's my suggestion to all the younger crowd. Just, I'm always trying to sell guitars, but. Yeah, I'm always like on reverb, just like, "Ooh, that's a good price," and then I hit quick save. Yeah. I'm not gonna buy it, but I'm just gonna like look at it, you know. Damn, that reminds yeah. me. I actually have one more guitar. It's a Chinese Gibson. It's those the fake, yeah, the Chipsons. I have uh, an Explorer. <laughs> See, it fucking it looks awesome. I think it's gonna play really well. I haven't played it yet, but hopefully I get it uh, soon because I'm really excited to play it. Yeah, it just looks like. It cost eight grand, but it cost me like two hundred bucks. <laughs> Fuck it's yeah! It's fucking crazy. That's sick. But um, I guess we keep talking about guitars. But like, are do you play other any other instruments? Um, yeah. I know, I know you see you. I see you play practice drums. I practice drums. But have you ever played drums? No, I haven't played drums in a band. I. That's my next. That's my next step. So I have, I want to play drums in a band because I can play drums. Yeah. I just can't do double bass. You don't need that. You should sing. Well, there you go. I don't need it. I don't need it. What the fuck do I need it for? I can't do it. Yeah. But um, I guess. I just play guitar. Yeah, I I, I play guitar. You just want to play guitar. Yeah. I don't know. It, it might be cool to sit behind a drum kit, but also you're like in control of everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. You yeah. fucking mad. Yeah. If you fuck up, then everybody fucks up. You know? Is it too? Yeah. <sighs> no, I think you just have to have confidence and have swag. You know? Yeah. That's all it is. You just have to have swag in order to play drums. Exactly. You can be the There's worst. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can be the worst drummer, but if you're like, if you hit it and then you go a little bit off time and you come back on time, like you're fine. And you look cool as well. Yeah, if you look cool. I don't think I'll yeah. look cool. That's my thing. I ain't look cool, bro. Thanks. Playing drums? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe if I have my hair down and I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I guess, what was my next question? Do you own any basses or anything like that? Uh, what, what's like a weird instrument that you think that people would be like, whoa, you do that? That's weird. Nah. Really? I literally play the, the main instruments. You don't even like dabble with pi piano. No, I play piano as well. Sorry, but I'm not like professional. I'm not hectic, hectic at it. Yeah, but you like know chords and stuff. Yeah, I know chords, notes. I can probably like read as well. I can't do that. I can. Yeah, I play. That's I play weird. Piano. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of weird, you know. I sing as well. Well, why? Why do I know that? Huh? Why do I know that? Have I seen you <laughs> sing before? Yeah, I see. That's a lot of Josh. Yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? How you, How you doing? doing? We're, we're chilling. We're talking about guitar stuff. Oh, music, music what stuff. are you guys doing? We're just talking about gear. Are oh, you doing podcasts? We're on the tone zone. We're on oh, the tone zone. It's real quick. Sorry. <laughs> I just pulled up. In the tone zone, bro. Get in, We're... get in the tone zone, cause you play guitar mm -hmm. as well. I play guitar. I just listen to what this dude tells me to do. Yeah, really, no. really? 
says, he says, use the boss metal zone. I say, all right, I'll do that. I mean, it, we're, we're in metal zone, Dan. Yeah. You're both metal zone. When you're not using my stuff for Sound of Fury, you're both using metal zone? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's just him. That's not me. Damn. So what? So the Randy Rhodes Jackson, do you have? Huh. Do you still have it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, it's fucking it's... pain in the ass to carry around, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. Really? It's annoying to tour. Oh, obviously. yeah, yeah, because it's, it's not dude, compact. You know I mean? It's not like, it's like a weird shape and. Yeah. It's fucking bullshit. But, um. Yeah, anyway, but I love the guitar. Sick guitar. It is sick. It looks fucking cool. I don't think I can rock it because I'm too tall and I'm too big, so it'll look like this. I think that's the coolest way for it to look though. Nah. <laughs> it's gonna look like this. <laughs> hey, Rock is gonna look like that. Like ukulele. Uh, yeah, it's gonna look like a ukulele, but um I guess I asked D Cold what his first guitar was. What's your first guitar? Uh I had do you guys have a brand in the US called Ashton or is that an Australian thing? Is it Ash Down? No, Ashton, like T O T O N. I think it might be Australian. I think Ashton is Australian. It might it's be a, Australian, yeah, because I don't think it's I've like heard. Entry level it. guitar, like like a like a Yamaha, basically. It's yeah. like Yamaha's off brand kind of company kind of thing. Maybe it's I just. It, I think it might be. It's just yeah. yeah. Most of the comp yeah, most of the big companies have like a off like not an off brand but like a starter brand, and they kind of like make money like that, like another. Yeah. Like area where they're like, oh, let's make, <laughs> let's make their first guitars and then have Yamaha here. Pretty much, that's pretty much exactly what this was. This was like it came in a box like with a little like 15 watt amp. Uh, it was just like a Strat copy, yeah. But it was a sick guitar. I mean, it was easy to learn on. You know what I mean? Yeah, Strats are like the best guitars to learn on. Honestly, yeah. Now, now I really want a Strat. Yeah, dude, me too. Fuck. The best. Maybe it's I'll talk like to. Classic guitar, you know what I mean? It's just classic. Yeah, I don't even. I'm not even like an Eric Clapton guy. I'm more of like a Jimi Hendrix guy. You know, I feel that <laughs> on the Strat, dude. But it's like backwards, and I'm like, I love Jimi Hendrix. But yeah. uh, I guess this question applies to both y'all. What amps are you using when you're not like borrowing stuff? Like, what's the amp that you go to or you own? You know, uh, PV sixty four five. That's Plus. I know that's you. You love yeah. the PV. Yeah, it's the same with me. I mean, like like I said, everything that Dennis uses, I just copy that. But like for heavy stuff, like for like anything with like a decent amount of chugging in it, I feel like that's just like the best. You can't, you can't, you know what I mean? You can't go wrong. I think a lot of time wrong. when I speak to people in the US, they they kind of have a, a PV versus uh, Mesa thing going on. Like they, it's there's a lot of people that are very loyal to yeah. wrecked fires. Yeah. For us, I feel like pretty much nobody in Australia has them. No one no one actually owns a yeah a, a wrecked the fire here. Yeah, it's really? weird. In hardcore, no. Yeah. It's Man, they really... might have once upon a time but not anymore. Yeah. Is it hard to get over there? Like a mess of boogie? Maybe oh. it maybe mm -hmm. it is. I mean nobody buys amps brand new, right? Like yeah. that's it's like a, someone owned it years ago and they're like yeah. Oh. yeah. And there just isn't like a supply of them in Australia mm -hmm. that I found. Like, if you look for like secondhand, yeah. it's like there's never. That could be a reason people. why. But, uh. Yeah, there's a shit ton of PVs around all the time. PVs and Marshalls, like, you can find them. Everyone, everyone's everyone's selling PVs. Yeah, yeah. Marshall makes sense because UK, you know, it's right yeah. there. Like, yeah. orange, you probably can get orange pretty easily. But, yeah. Yeah. Burger, that's that's funny. I didn't realize, like, you couldn't get certain amps over there. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you can, but they're just, yeah, yeah. They're, they're harder to find. Damn, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, no one ever... ever yeah. So, like, I think the first time I ever played one was Sound and Fury last year. Yeah. And I think I had it set on, like, the vintage <laughs> tone as well. But, you know, I had, like, three minutes to set up. So I was like, fuck it, whatever. Look, the, however this sounds is how it's going to yeah. work. It, no sounded, it sounded pretty good, but also... The, it has, like, a thousand knobs on there. So I can see... Yeah, it's like... like it's an intimidating fuck. <laughs> engineering degree is fucking. Yeah. But the sixty-five, I feel like you just can't go wrong with it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like no. it, it always. We use the EVH ones now as well. Yeah, yeah the, with those EVH, EVH fifty-one fifties. Yeah. The like, just like the base, like fifty-one fifty-three. Yeah. Model, I think sounds fucking awesome. Like we toured in April in the US with those. And yeah, pretty sure. sounded awesome. Did they send you those? We we rented them, yeah. but like Fender sorts it all out for us which is great like yeah, that's awesome yeah yeah it's easy like we they're, they're really good at just like helping us kind of 
put it all together when we go overseas because obviously touring with an amp is a fuck around. So Fender and Jackson kind of rock for that stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah, really our, our guy in Australia, Heath, who works at Fender, he fucking he he's looks out for us. Yeah. I'm too sure. scared to ask for something else. Dude, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we all looked after so well. We're like that as well. Like, like, oh, he's grateful fuck. to to have anything. Like, yeah. They sent me a guitar, and I'm just like, this is the coolest day of my life. And I'm like, wait, really? can I get something else? <laughs> can um, I get some, like, some, one more thing? Yeah. And I've been just too afraid to ask. Like, the guy I work with, um, Mike, over here, he does... He's the he's the same guy that does uh, Steel Panther, you know that like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He does all their stuff, and I I always tell him like when it's a holiday, like oh Merry Christmas, man, hope you're doing good. And I never like, oh by the way, <laughs> can I also get a guitar? Totally. I might do it. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm always scared to ask. I mean, I'm sure they'll hook you up with a discount or something at least. Uh yeah. I mean that'd be cool too because there's. Yeah. There's that uh, undressed kisser guitar, the signature model. I'm just like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Jackson's always bringing out a lot of crazy shit. Like, yeah. I send it to Dennis all yeah. the time. I'm like, what do you think about this one? Like, I think the one in America is pretty sick. Yeah. The two, the two, the two, so whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. I love um, Jackson a lot. It, they fucking rock, honestly. But Yeah, um, man. PVs, man, PVs. Because the only PV I do have is the 5150. Block letter? Yeah, the block letter? It's either block letter or signature. There's honestly yeah. no difference. Yeah. I've debunked that. I wish I had one of those as well. Damn, that's sick. Yeah, but it doesn't work. What's There's wrong? a funny story about that as well. Right, I love yeah. to hear it. Give yeah. me a story. It's technically not mine, but I borrowed it like on a TUI tour like back in 2012. Okay. And the guy, like, I just never gave, gave it back. Do you still talk to this guy? No. I think I, I think uh, this. Yeah. I think that's yours. <laughs> it, it is if time if the time serves me correct, I think that's yours. It's six months. Well there was a long time where we were like, fuck do you reckon I could just have it? Like <laughs> could I just use this and Yeah. Because I didn't want to for the yeah. longest time and then I was like I mean it's not, took, this guy's not coming yeah, calling for it. It actually but. took me ages to buy a new amp. I didn't get I honestly didn't buy my first amp. Until 2016. The little amp that I used was the first, like, amp, were like first real amp I bought that was, like, not used, brand new. Yeah. And it was, like, last year. That SNK, but... The SNK, yeah. I don't, I've never what bought... What you The 5150, or... For the longest time, I had a JCM 900 when I was doing um, Sleepwalkers. But it was only 50 watts, so I was like, I was kidding myself. I needed 100 watts. I need to crank that shit. I was yeah. cranking the shit out of it, and it was somehow like, you know, going over the band. But I've only used used stuff for like the longest time. And I keep buying shit. That's my problem. Mm. Yeah. I'm, yeah, you're like Dennis. Dennis I'm always looking at shit. I'm like, fuck, I should stop buying. I'm looking. Dennis has got new pedals every other week and yeah. then they disappear and you never see them again. Yep. But, Den but Dennis always has like only specifically boss pedals. Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, that's yeah. my whole board. We've talked about that before as well. <laughs> We're like, like, Let me, we'll let's, have... let's see the board. I want to see the board. Because you showed a picture to me and it's just all boss stuff and then the wireless. <laughs> it's all boss and then the MXR. So. That's honestly it's all you need. That's a oh. Moor. The that top one is a Moor. Is that a, a Moor? Yeah, Moor. It's like a kind of like a like a TS TS nine. Moor actually right. makes pretty decent stuff. Yeah. So this um, is just pedals I've acquired throughout the years and just never bothered to buy other ones. You should see how many fucking pedals I have. You're a pedal guy. I'm a pedal guy, but also I need to stop being a pedal guy because I don't. I don't need pedals, but also I need pedals, you know? <laughs> and I also do like soundscape, like synth stuff, and I have a synth that I like haven't used in a little bit, so I'm just like, I need to stop buying stuff. That's, a, that's an expensive hobby. It is. So I with synths, and then you, yeah. I have one synth that does like everything, and then I'm like, all right, I don't need anything else, but. 
I could I could use like a reverb pedal. Yeah. But hey, at least we don't fucking use MacBooks. That's right. That is true. I actually I've seen someone use like a nine hundred watt power amp connect their MacBook into their interface and then from the interface they you, you do one of the outputs mono into the power amp and then they play a show like that. Oh. Because they didn't they were like I don't have money for an amp, so this is like the next best thing. And I'm what like, what are your thoughts on um, like digital amps, like like quad cortex or something? Like technology yeah. scares the shit out of me. Yeah, like you have to update those things. What if there's like a weird virus that goes into the amps and you can't like you have to buy a new one? Um, what if there's interference? Even though I don't think there is, but like. It's just so scary to think, like, something can happen, you know what I mean? Like, with an amp, you know the tube's gone, or if you use in solid state, you're just like, okay, yeah. well, just get something else. Yeah. But the ca- it's- also, in a pinch, I feel like it's so much easier to just get another amp as well, whereas, yeah. like, you hear about bands that, like, rely so much on digital, and then they're on tour, and one thing fucks up, and then the whole, like, they have to, like, cancel the whole show. You know? Yeah. Like, like, they can't play the show, and I'm like... yeah. This Which is, is wild to me. It's this is why you use real amps. That's what. No matter what, even if you're using a fucking click track, that way, if you take out the inner ears, you could still hear what you're fucking playing. Yeah, and it's when we're so all sitting scary. our backs are fucking all herniated and shit, we're all gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm so glad we use real amps, man." It was so, <laughs> we're so sick carrying that shit around for fucking years. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking. It's a pain in the ass to carry like a hundred watt tube amp, but also, at the end of the day, it's what you're supposed to do. Dude, and just the feeling when you're playing it on stage is yeah, like feeling more, the actual vibration from the real. speaking of it and shit. Like it, you need that. I, I feel like you can definitely so need that. For, for sure. I was using like a pedal board amp, but like it was the Seymour, that little Seymour Duncan thing. It was like that. It was a preamp pedal into that power amp, and it was actually not bad. Mm-hmm. It sounded a little funky, but I think I was adding too much shit, and then I got my little amp, and I just don't need it anymore. How much watts is that? This in case. Fuck, like three hundred. Yeah, Fuck, okay. three hundred at four ohms. That's crazy. And at eight ohms, it's at one fifty. Yeah. Yep. It's fucked up. But it's sound- you, you. Hey, I'm gonna run back upstairs. Yeah. But it was good. Thank you for letting yeah. me uh, hijack this for a second. No See ya. Taste right. You sure? Oh, you are. Later. Yeah. Fucking. How much? How much? Should I get one? The fucking. They're fucking loud enough. They're dude, they're louder than anything. Yeah. They can keep up with any fucking amp. But it might it would be helpful because you do fucking come over here so often and it'd be nice to be nice to either leave something here or just have something you could take home. Yeah. Cause that way it's like you know, you have something you could take home and play and like just kind of you know, search what you fucking need with this amp because I don't really need much with it. I can plug straight in and I'm fine. Yeah. But I got a metal zone, so now I'm gonna sound like Cannibal Corpse. You write a metal zone on it? Yeah, I got a. I got this metal zone. This little guy. All black. It's the thirtieth. There's nothing really different about it, but it's just the thirtieth edition. I got the Wazer Craft one. Uh, I might, I modded, uh, Metal Zone to do, like, the Waza thing. Yeah. It just sounds fuller, but, um... Do you run, do you run your Metal Zone with distortion on, or...? No. Yeah. I never do distortion. I do, I, so, the way I use it is the way Kurt from Crowbar uses it. Yeah, yeah, they just the full, bo- uh... Full English. level, boost yeah. it, and then from there, if I need, like, some EQ stuff... I like yep. tweak it a little bit. Exactly, that's how, that's how I use it. That's all you need. Yeah. This is the coolest sounding thing in the world. I say, actually, the, the Metal Zone was the first ever pedal I owned. Really? Yeah. Um, when, when, when reverting back to my first guitar. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It wasn't this one. I still actually had that. I actually still had that Metal Zone that I owned. Yeah, I got it. Acquired it from my um the guitar player in my dad's band. Oh. He gave he gave it to me and I still I, I still have it to this day. That's awesome. See, I don't have yeah. that shit. I just like sell stuff and I'm like, man, I should have kept that. Yeah, I fucking I can't sell shit, eh? 
<laughs> it's so it's so fucking hard. So when I buy something, it has to be like special. Yeah. Because then it's like I can't sell this. This is like one of a kind type shit. Yeah. And it just bums me out whenever I sell stuff. So I can't. I just like can't do it. Well, in in a pinch, like I if I have it, I'll just do it. But I fucking hate selling stuff. <laughs> When it I sucks. win the when I win the lottery, I'm just not gonna. I'm just gonna buy stuff. That's it. Just keep buying. Yeah, I'm gonna win the lottery first, and then I'm gonna keep buying shit. That's it. I believe you. The goal. <laughs> That's the real goal right there. Oh. Um, speaking of first pedals, were you always a metal zone guy, or were you just like a TS9 um, tube screamer guy? I was always. I've, I mean, I've always owned a metal zone. Yeah. But for the longest time, I used uh, like a like a just a tube screamer, just two, kind of. just regular TS9 kind of thing. Yeah. Damn, that's sick. Is that? I feel like that's like the first pedal you get where you're like, oh, that's yeah, where everybody's getting their like sauce from. Yeah. And then you get caught up in like, wait, what if you get another tube screamer that's made in the '80s? Or like, wait, but if I buy this boutique overdrive. You get caught yeah. up in the fucking overdrive shit, and I love overdrives, but sometimes I'm just like, do I really need? I own two, actually. I had an MXR OD as well. Ooh. It was a, oh, I don't know what it was. It was a gold one. It's the modified, the modified. Yeah, OD. yeah, yeah, that one. It has like a little button on there to. Yeah. It's like a mod. I think it just actually just says mod. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, tell you what it does. That was it? These, so, these like delays and shit. I use. I just got a uh, artist thing from Earthquaker. And uh-huh. I use a reverb for God's Hate on the uh, just the intro. I just use it for intros, and if I'm doing dive bombs, I just I hit it. And if I need that extra like thing, I'm like, yeah. So I, that's what I use it. That's what I use it for as well. That's it's I was like, like, that's about retiring, for. retiring the fucking. Floyd Rose. Damn. You know what? I can't. Like, I told these guys, like, I was like, yeah, I'm going to retire from using the Floyd Rose. And they're like, no, you're not allowed. <laughs> they're just like, nope, you can't. It's honestly. Because I, yeah. Yeah, having the hardtail guitars, it's just like, oh man, this was so easy changing the strings. But like, you can't dive bomb on them. No. You could use a Kaler. Yeah. But you also have to like install it on a guitar that you have. Yeah, and that just takes time, but there's ways around it, and I don't. I know. think I got a stabilizer in my in my thing, in my um, in my Jackson, so it doesn't like like move or anything. Yeah, like Mick Thompson. Like, yeah. Yeah. He, <laughs> I don't understand why he has the Floyd Rose, and he just it's blocked off, so you can't like move it. But like, he doesn't refuse to like use something else he just floyd yeah. rose it has to be floyd rose so weird. <laughs> like just fucking get rid of it like have you seen that brand uh the fu not fu tone the mother brandon ellis has that oh. he's in those What's the that? german one i think that's fu nah. fu tone oh fu tone i can't think of their floyd rose are like a million dollars, bro. Not a million dollars, but get out. Hand tongue, hand tongue. Is yeah. it like handmade shit? Hand tog. Hand tog. Yeah, that's the brand. That's the brand uh, floating trim that he uses. Yeah. That's hand tog. That's fucking crazy. They're like, I'm looking at how much they cost. They're so expensive. These ones. Uses the oh man, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Handmade fucking shit. Yeah, that's you can get lost in that shit. I, I just don't. Yeah. If it works, I it works. I still don't know. I like I like Goto. I got a Goto in mind. Goto. I haven't used yeah. Goto, but I heard they're pretty good. They're good. Like, I wanted everything Japanese. So I got like a because my Jackson is a is a Japanese Jackson. Ooh, oh, it's the Japanese kind of models. Yeah, the those Fujian are, one. Those are sick. Yeah, so I just made everything, just put all Japanese parts in it. 
I almost bought because uh, Cruelty had to buy guitars when they fir- first came out here, and they oh, bought right. like, yeah. some Jacksons made in Japan. And I almost bought one of theirs, cool. but they didn't come with like Floyd Rose, so it would have been, you know, would have had to deal with that. But yeah, I'm about to go to Japan. Japan next week. This could be dangerous. You're could going be... to Japan next week. Yeah, we're playing. We're playing Japan next week. Um, oh, for uh, Blood Axe. Blood Axe, yeah. That's so sick. It could be dangerous because like there's this like there's an area where like they just like sell music gear. I can't remember what it's called, but the steel shit. Nah, it's just like a street, a shop. Oh, so a lot of like second, yeah, like secondhand like. Uh... Can you hear that? Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Someone practices in clarinet, but there's a secondhand shop over there. Yeah, let's say a lot. A I only lot been I only been to one, and it was like a huge store, and it was like very yeah. overwhelming, and they had so much shit that I'm just like, yes. I wish this was like we don't have that in the states anymore. Like, there's only one guitar center that's like the one in Hollywood. I have been told, but that's the only one that's like that. Yeah. All the other ones are just like they have Fenders, Gibson, and then one random guitar that you've never heard of. Yeah. The new section always sucks. That's so, like, we don't have anything like that in Australia. Like, not that I know of anyway, but, um, yeah, just like, there's not, there's not many music shops, especially in Sydney. There's not, there's not many. Any music shop. You know how crazy that is yeah, to me? So, I can't count, I can count it. Probably like, I don't know, like, like maybe a like 10. 10? Some of that, like in Sydney, it's just in Sydney alone. And Sydney's pretty big. Sydney's huge. Do you realize how crazy that is that you decided to be in a hardcore band? There's only like fucking 10 music shops. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. What have you done to yourself, you know? And uh, Dean, who plays in the uh, Village Drums of Relentless. Yeah. He's Kane's, he's Kane's older brother. Wow. Yeah, he 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 actually works at one. Damn. He does all he does he does all my guitars. He does all, actually does, does all of our guitars. That's sick. I'm gonna I want to start. To, I want to get like a kit for like guitar stuff and just like yeah. if something happens or I want to know how to do it because I had like a taste of setting up my own guitars and now I can yeah. I, I'm pretty comfortable doing it. And then I just like want to keep keep. Fucking with it, you know. I want to keep yeah. messing with oh, stuff. I, yeah, I tried to do it, but I had no patience. Was it? It's scary. But no. It's scary because then if you fuck up one thing, you're just like, wait, how do I fix that? Yeah. But um. Is that- no, I mean it's it's you just gotta be confident and just like go in with like an open mind and a lot of patience. Because I did the flo- the guitar with the Floyd first, and it took like two days. <laughs> I kept thinking I was fucking it up, but it was just, I just, I don't know what I was doing. And then I figured it out. I watched a lot of YouTube videos. Yeah. That's but, how you learn. Yeah. It's how you learn. Just go on YouTube for like four hours, find a video that's like either from a dealer or from a guy that yeah. knows what they're talking about. And you always look at the views. Yeah. If there's like a million right. views. You're like, okay, this guy knows what he's talking about. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go do some work experience with Dean. I'm like, hey, bro. You're gonna go work at the guitar shop? Yeah, it's called Guitar Factory. What were you doing for, uh, like, the production company? You were, like, playing um, through. I work, back, I work at Backline as well. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so I just do, like, um, testing amps and <laughs> testing guitars, <laughs> shit like that. And just, like, delivering, like, music gear. That's the coolest thing I've ever heard. It's sick. Like, like right now it's pretty quiet. Like, unless, right now in Australia, like, it, it's pretty quiet for like production. Yeah. And shit like that. But it picks up during during like, the summer, because we're almost we're coming in in the spring right now. Our spring is our springtime right now. Gotcha. Okay. So it kind of picks up now. So I guess, yeah, like I do like just deliver music here to our festivals and you work. I don't do anything music. I just do yeah. like a 
fucking boring ass nine to five job, but I mean, you're, you're doing sound and stuff. Right? I do do well. sound, but yeah, uh, yeah, I do. You know what? You're right. You do sound. I do sound. That's right. You're That's a sound a, guy. It's a very hard job. Yeah, are you a sound guy that goes? Oh no! Hey, can you turn your amp down to? Can you turn your amp down just a little bit? Yeah, I've only had to do that once, and it was for a like do metal like Ozzy Osbourne Black Sabbath shit. Yeah. And I'm like, brother, you are at a hundred watts. Your amp is turned all the way up. Like you need to turn it down. He goes, no. Sometimes, sometimes it is overdone. Like. So okay, so I work at a bar, and it's not huge. And the reason why Black Sabbath and all those bands, they had to turn up to 100 is because they were playing outside in big fucking stadiums where they didn't have enough power to like drive, like mic the amps and then drive it through the PAs. That's why they had to turn up to 100. This dude is playing a bar that fits maybe 300 people and like he can't hear the vocals. And I'm like, yeah, because your amp is too fucking loud. <laughs> And he's like, it. didn't get it. Like, yeah. you know, I, I was like, can you turn down like a respectable volume? Like just being like chill with them. Like, you know, because if you tell a rock star to fucking want to be rock star to turn down, they fucking lose their minds. That's it. I like I if someone tells me to turn down, I'm going to be like, OK, fine. And then I do the adult thing. Turn it down. Turn it back up when they're not looking. That's it. <laughs> That's all you fucking have to do. <laughs> That's a fucking tone zone tip for everybody out there. Um, but yeah, this dude did refuse to turn down, and he had a terrible set, and they sounded like shit. Could hardly hear the drums, hardly yeah. hear the other guitar, hardly hear the bass, no vocals, and I'm everything's peaking, and then I'm like, oh my god! And then the next band sounded great. Yeah, because they fucking. They need to dial it in. They dialed it in. That's the thing that people don't understand. If you're playing at a fucking place that has mics and you can hear everything and monitors, if you dial it in correctly, you don't need any of that shit. Yeah, exactly. All that other shit is like, the monitors especially, like, we, we play in a fucking hardcore band. How many times have we played, like, a backyard show where there's only one microphone? Yeah, sometimes there's no microphones. Sometimes there's no microphone. Sometimes your the microphone is through like a guitar amp. Yeah. Where the fuck? I didn't ask for like, can I have more me in the monitors? I get the fuck out of here. You know. I really ask for those things anyway. Do you? I don't know. Do you ask for that stuff? Uh, like, I ask for a little bit of guitar. Yeah. I ask for a uh, kick drum, kick and snare, always. You need that. Yes. Uh, I just I actually started doing that. You start. You just started doing that. I, I, I only started asking for drums in the in the fold back site recently. I do. So I do me, my guitar, and the monitors. Um, yeah. Kicks, kick, snare everywhere, for especially for God's hate. Um, and then I have me vocals in the monitor, just a, a good amount. Yeah. Because I need to hear how, like what I'm doing. How many bands are in? Just two right now. Yeah. I'm trying so I'm trying to do some like solo project shit but like I keep because it's solo project I, I'm in my head about it and I'm like this fucking sucks you know there's no other like person to feed off of that's right yeah it's just it's awful <laughs> it's just awful and then I'll never release it but like I have an idea I might just like do so the the idea is to just do three songs what kind of style? It's mostly like I would call it sludge death metal. Yeah. Because in the south, there was like a, a weird thing where they had like slow sludge riffs, but then they have like blast beats and stuff like that. Yeah. It's like shit you like don't think about. You know what I mean? Because when you think of sludge band, you think just like slow riffs and just like heavy fucking chugs and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, but you don't think like, oh, blast beat right here, and then to a, like something else, or like to like a groovy ass like pit part. And, but I just got into that, and I've been just writing and plugging away. But I just can't. I can't I seem to I'm, like it. Yeah, that's like what I'm doing right now. Exactly. Right now. It sucks. Like I start like a project, and like, and I'll write for that, and then I get carried away, and I write for.
something else. Yeah. She loved that. Hold on, you cut out a little bit. That was weird. You froze for, for a second. second. For a second. Uh oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Is it me? No, it's, I don't think it's me. I can hear you. Are we back? Yeah. Okay. I think it was like a little thing. Do a latency. A little, a little latency. How am I? <laughs> They're good. All yeah. right. So back to what you were saying. What was it? Oh, you, st yeah. you started a project. Yeah, you start a project and then you write. All right. Yeah, like fucking the Furious. You never have full songs. I never had like a full song. I, Ever. so I, so my thing is I start a riff and then I start another riff and then I go into another riff and I start like my brain just starts and it keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. And then I like finish a full song. Like I flesh out a full song. Uh. And then I'm like, because the f number one, fake drums. Are you good at that shit? Programming? I'm very good at programming. Yeah. Um, I wish I was. Jam's really good at it. It's just, it's good to like figure out how to do it. You can make it yeah. sound human, but it has to be slow and it, you have to fuck with the velocities. But if I'm just doing demos, it's all one velocity. I don't give a shit, you know? You don't, you don't need to do things. Yeah, I don't need to do that stuff. But if you're like releasing it and you're like. Okay, they're gonna be fake drums. You have to like go in there. You have to move all yeah. the levels and tweak it and make it sound human. But um, yeah. So I write a riff. It becomes a whole fucking fleshed out song. I listen to it for a little bit and then I hate it, or I just feel like something's missing. But the thing that's missing is it's not a full band. It's not. There's no bass. There's no vocals. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it's, it's just your brain playing tricks with you. you that's know? what it comes down to. Like, you, if you're gonna, like, yeah. If you listen to it too much, dude, you just get into your head and be like, oh fuck. You're like, this sucks. I'm, this no sucks. One's gonna yeah. Like <laughs> but I think once you, honestly, look, I think once you start jamming it out, I think that's when it comes to life. Now I'm gonna, like, now after no, this, I'm gonna write riffs if I have if time permits me. No, I probably have to go to sleep after this. Do you have work tomorrow? I do have work tomorrow. <laughs> What's up? I usually start at 9, but I have to take my kid to daycare, and then I have to yeah. do all this shit it's before funny. that. How do you say your son's name? Esley. Esley? Yeah, Esley. Right. Because like, like I always try to pronounce it like when I'm when reading it. Yeah. I never know how to say it. It's, it's, uh, so the Z is like a... It's... it's as, oh, as yeah. yeah but uh yeah it's a cool name let's see but yeah the How only he's like two now he's gonna be three in uh february or they're both gonna be uh she's gonna be one in february he's gonna be three. Oh, that's so sick it's fucking crazy yeah, that's awesome that's another thing like if you have no kids you have so much time for riffing Oh and yeah, I, and I think that's why I have to like finish the song because like the next day I'm gonna keep thinking about it and I'm gonna be like, be all over the place that I have to finish the fucking song, or to like that night or whenever I'm working on it or else like yeah. I'll think about it all day and it'll like piss me off and it'll affect yeah. my mood. So I have to finish the song. Yeah, and that's but, the reason not no reason why I got a drum kit as well, an extra drum kit. Damn, to make it easier to like so I have to fucking. Oh, so you like write on the yeah, all the guitar parts, and then I'll play out. Like you'll flesh out some beats and stuff. Yeah. Damn, that's sick. I don't have yeah. room to do that. If I had room to do that, I would totally do that. Yeah. But um. Oh, shit. What other questions? I think that's it. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah. sick. That was fun. We have we did it. Yeah. We have done it. Hell yeah. I'm glad we were able to do this, honestly. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, you know, thank you for coming to the Tone Zone, and I'm glad you. we got you here. Thank was, you for was, having me. I was going to try to do it at Sound of Fury, but I just... How long have we done at Sound of Fury? I'm pretty sure we sh could have done it, but it's just there was so much shit going on. It was just like, what? Like, there's too much. It was a crazy, yeah, it was a crazy weekend. It was like... a crazy weekend. It was my birthday. 
I didn't want to do interviews on my birthday, but also I was like, this could be cool because the one with Sean was awesome. And then it just got it got my brain working to like, oh, maybe I should do more of this stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Have you done this before? before? I've not done this with this is... like this style of like a guest yeah, being yeah. far away. Yeah. yeah. But uh, this is awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. This has been the Tone Zone with Dennis and Josh from Speed. Yeah, Josh was here at the start, uh, the middle. Anything you want to leave to anybody listening to this for the first time playing guitar or first time joining a band, what what can you say to them? <laughs> Just pick up a guitar and play. Plug and play. <laughs> That's what we do, right? Plug that's, and play. That's what we do. We just plug and play. Plug and play and just and love it. And love it. Play it with every every ounce of your being. And yeah. Fuck yeah. Because that's what we do. That's what we do, right? Whenever we pick up guitar, we're just like, we love it. That's I don't true. know. I love it. I don't know. I, lo- I love playing guitar. Like, that's one of my favorite things in the world. You, you don't have to tell me. You're preaching to the choir right now. I love right. playing guitar. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. All right. That's it for us. Have a great day. Peace.